we will later come back here and use paint to finish off the, the top of the wave. But as you can see, oh, I'm saving the saving the brush here for you, so you you can select it directly. But I recommend you you check the settings. Changing the settings in most of these Photoshop brushes, like this one we're gonna be using next, just a leveling transfer. For this paintbrush and reducing the size a bit, we're gonna use this brush to paint in more detail and to break up break up the detail that is already in the wave. This is another long process. Just painting in the lines to suggest the to continue and suggest the flow of the of the wave will be a little bit of sampling from the white color of the of the same wave but then also sampling from the dark colors of the wave to break up the detail that it's uh, that it's present on the on the stock this will help us blend the, the wave with the rest of the of the water here and also by breaking up the detail we're going to remove the obvious look that the wave is much more more smaller than the than the bridge itself since we're using a wave that it's only a few meters high we need to break up that detail sampling from the same from the same canvas We just need to break up the detail that it's present there, making the these uh, sections of foam much much smaller, and making them making them much smaller. Then, then they look, then the wave as a whole looks quite a bit bigger. As you can see here. It's just a matter of going, going in each section of foam, creeping in the up into the wave, and breaking those details apart. If we have a big patch of foam, we we transform it into several smaller, tiny patches of foam going up the the wave, and you can. You can see immediately this this takes uh, an effect on the overall look of the wave, making it look much much bigger and fit our scene much better. <laughs> this brush, this uh, this brush is only included. Uh, it's only for Photoshop CX CS5. And it's those those new painting brushes for Photoshop are great, but still you can, if you're using some other Photoshop version, you can see the the point here, and you can use some other brush and adjust the the opacity and and the shape dynamics so so you give you have the same result. But as you can see here, it's just a matter of breaking up the detail in several parts. This makes look makes the the wave look much bigger and blend with the with the rest of the the scene of the of the bridge. Just sampling from the same color of the of the of the canvas. Right here, we we're working with a dark blue sampled from the from the wave itself, and then when you need, you just sample from the from the highlights. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit here, since it's a long process. Right here, 
I'm just painting with the same brush, enhancing and suggesting a little bit more of the of the curvature of the of the wave, and adding detail. We add a little bit of detail with with lighter colors, and we break up the detail with the darker colors. And you can see, you can see how this how this process starts making the image look much more integrated into each other and the look of the overall wave changes quite a bit you can see here how with the highlights we suggest the the flow of the of the wave in a detail sampling always sampling from the from the canvas breaking up those those details on the on the foam don't worry about the the brush dialog box appearing i'm just changing the size of the of the brush as needed since that that section was further away i just reduced the size a little bit here we continue sampling dark color from the from the adjacent sections of the wave and light color to add some highlights or to break up the the detail as we have been been doing all around the the image as you can see you can also add some detail to the foam itself very handy brush for for painting and it's a it's a long process is the it's a difficult part of this of this tutorial because it takes a long time but it's it's not at all impossible to do or you need to be some kind of great painter to do it now we go back to our spray brush that we saved earlier and sampling light color from the from the foam we paint the edge of the foam, a new edge to or all the foam, and this this brush, if you need to change the size of course, right here right here since this this is on the foreground, I increase the size a little bit. And sampling from the from the foam of the present wave itself, just painting and then using the same brush but with the with the eraser just finish off the edge there's so checking that there is no obvious pattern of left by the by the brush and then we create a new layer as you can see we have been working only on one layer we go back to our painting brush make sure transfer is enabled and this time enable shape in dynamics so we can finish up the the top of the wave here we have we need to paint a little bit so just by sampling from the color base color of the wave okay and now once we have the the shape of the top of the wave sampling color from the the other wave here we also suggest a, a little bit of of an edge to the top of the wave and then simply sampling a little bit of lighter color from the whites we also suggest a little bit of foam to this top of the of the wave always sampling from the existing colors that we have and just paint paint some foam details that match the rest of the of the wave then let's go in a little bit closer and I'll add a little bit of a little bit more of random de detail breaking that detail apart 
as you can see always sampling from the existing colors finishing up the the top of the foam here and that will give us a a nice detail for the top of the of the of the wave now we're going to continue using this same brush and continue working on the flow detail and again sampling from the colors existing in the in the image that we have we try to combine the blue and white of the of the wave with the rest of the the rest of the water here that it looks more more brownish I'm gonna speed it up a little bit here but it's just a, it's just the same process just add flow detail you can see this even if it's sped up and always sampling from the colors we start getting a, a nice flow a nice combination with the background and the wave just following the the flow of the of the wave and combining it with the the calm waters of the of the river it's just a matter of continue the sampling sampling of the colors and uh, continue adding detail that combines both both uh, bodies of water until we have a a nice blend of the of the image I always uh, go back and spread a little bit more of breaking the the detail on the waves if I if I feel it looks still too the scale doesn't look cool and right now I'm adding the, the final the final layers of adjustment here's the black, black and white layer just adjusting it a little bit to bring out the colors and if we set it, uh, that layer to multiply the result is this dramatic color change and with this dramatic color change, I notice that there are still some parts missing to be masked of the of the original waves. So I just go with the soft brush and eliminating those, and then back into the black and white layer with a big round soft brush, just mask of the center portion. This creates kind of a beach net effect that emphasizes the central action with this big soft brush still you you can you can resize it if you need it but I'm trying just to emphasize the central the central area of the action with this dramatic colors that the black and white multiply layer provides and how to increase the the effect that the of the low sunlight that we have in the original plate I'm gonna add a warming filter but also mask off where needed just to let the, this warming effect go go through in certain areas but 